السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today we have the uh, unit one grammar mega goal six in second semester for the third secondary grade in mega goal six. This lesson is prepared by Muhammad Al Bahiri and presented by me, Muhammad Al Thami. In this lesson, you can discuss the models in the past and discuss the passive models in the past. What do you know about modal verbs or modal verbs in the past? Well and would, can, could, may, might must, should, have to, auto. These are modal verbs. In the past, they are would, could, might, should, auto. In present, well, can, may, must, have to. Okay, now we will talk about models in the past. May have or might have. May or might have plus past participle. Past participle means the, the third form. For example, write is present, wrote is the past, written is the past participle. Write, wrote, written. So, may and might have plus the past participle is used to suggest uncertainty or possibility about the past. <clears throat> so, use may or might have plus past participle for what? Suggesting uncertainty. Uncertainty means you are not sure. You don't know if it is correct or not. You are not certain. Or possibility. You, can, you say it's possible in something in the past. For example, I lost my cell phone. I may have left it at school. He's not sure if he left it at school or not. He say, I may have left it at school. Just may have it. Okay. Another example. You might have dropped it at the restaurant. You might have dropped it at the restaurant. Okay. So here, you might have dropped it at the restaurant. Also, you are not certain. It is possibility. Okay, can, have, or could, have. Could have plus past participle is used in two ways. Number one, to talk about the past with uncertainty. Or to talk about an option in the past that was not taken. Examples. Do you think do you think I could have left my cell phone at your house? Do you think I could have left my cell phone at the at your house? He could have been a doctor if he had hadn't made the mistake of dropping out of school. <clears throat> so he gives here gives an opinion in the past that was not taken. An opinion in the past that was not taken. So in, in the past, he, uh, he didn't, uh, he dropped out the school. In the past, this one or the one that we talk about have 
dropped out the school. And the another one talk about him. He says, talks about him. He says he could have been a doctor if he hadn't made the mistake of dropping out of school. <clears throat> Next, must have. Must have plus past participle is used for drawing conclusions about the past. For drawing conclusions. For example, when you have an idea about something, you may have conclusion. Um, that uh, an idea of or the results. For example, <clears throat> I got lost on the way here. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. So, because he got lost on the way here, he says, I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. So, this is conclusion. Okay. Should have. Should have plus past participle is used to talk about mistakes made in the past or expe uh, expectations that have not been met. Mistakes made in the past should have to talk about mistakes made in the past or expectations that have not been met. Example, you should have apologized for your mistake. So. Here, he talks about mistakes made in the past. They should have arrived by now. So, here he talks about expectations that have not been made, met. They should have arrived by now. Passive models. We know What's the meaning of passive? When you drop the subject and you make the object as the subject, here, uh, distance or this sentence, we call it passive. <coughs> was, were, supposed to. Was, were, supposed to, plus base verb. Base verb, for example, when I say be, and is are, was, where, then B is the base form. Another example, write, wrote, written. Write is the base form or the base verb. So we use was, where, and supposed to plus base verb. We use it for what? To express that an action, uh, <coughs> so, sorry, uh, an expected action didn't happen. Expected action didn't happen. We have two examples. The football game was supposed to start at 1, but it was uh, postponed because of the rain. So they expected that this football game should have or supposed to start at 1 o'clock. But it was postponed, uh, postponed. Postponed means delayed. They make it late. They make it in different time because of rain. <clears throat> Where were you last night? You were supposed to help me with my essay. You were supposed to help me with my essay. So he didn't support. He didn't help him. So he says to his friend, you were supposed to help me with my essay. Passive models in the past. Passive models in the past or in the past. Uh, Americans say past and British say past. So uh, I sometimes uh, confuse them. <clears throat> Passive models in the past are used to give opinions about events and situations that happened in the past. The form is subject plus model 
plus have been plus past participle subject like the money I, he, she, it, Ahmed, Muhammad is subject model like can, could, shall, should or here we will, will talk about models in the past plus have been plus past participle we say, I say I said past participle is the, the third form write what written written is the past participle here we have two examples the money is the subject could is the model have been the same given is the, is the past participle to the poor the money could have been given to the poor who should give them here it's not mentioned so this is passive the package <coughs> should have been sent a week ago the package should have been sent a week ago so here the writer or uh, yes the writer gives opinions about events and, and situations that happened in the past with using this form exercise circle the correct model in the past to complete each sentence I have a sore throat I should have or may have caught your call so think about this does it does the sentence express unexpected actions or drawing conclusions or possibilities mistakes or uncertainty about the past excellent as you said it is or it suggests uncertainty about the past so since it suggests uncertainty about the past what should we use let's go back to the rule here uncertainty about the past so we should use either may have or might have so the answer here is may have okay. number two he wasn't supposed to or shouldn't have know about the business deal but he found out by accident in this sentence what can you see suggestion about uncertainty or expressing uh, expected actions that didn't happen drawing conclusion possibility in the past or what he wasn't or supposed to or she didn't have know about the business so this is or this sentence expresses an expected action didn't happen expected action didn't happen so what should we use here expected action didn't happen not here okay what about here yes here unexpected action didn't happen so what's the answer shouldn't have excellent shouldn't have <clears throat> number three <clears throat> you have a big smile on your face in all the uh, vacation pictures you should have or must have had a great time this sentence expresses what drawing conclusion excellent drawing conclusion so what draws conclusion 
So we draw a conclusion. What should we use? Must have. Excellent. Drawing conclusion. Must have. So here, the answer is must have. Next. <clears throat> I don't know where she is, but she was very tired. She should have or may have gone to bed. Number four. I don't know where she is, but she was very tired. She should have or may have gone to bed. Here, possibility, yes, possibility about the past. So with possibility, what can we use? With possibility, we use may have or might have. The answer is may have. Number five. I must have or shouldn't have ordered that new laptop. It was way too expensive. So excellent mistake. He talks he talk about mistakes made in the past. So with mistakes, what can we use? With mistakes, we should use should have. Or shouldn't have. Number six. Did you get the package? It was supposed to or must have arrived by today. So... He, uh, here in this sentence, the speaker expected, yes, the speaker expected an action that didn't happen. So, expected action didn't happen. Expected action didn't happen. We should use was or were supposed to. was supposed to. Number seven. You may not have or should not have said that. Now you've hurt your friend's feeling. You may not have or should not have said that. Now you've hurt your friend's feeling. This is a mistake. So the same. With mistakes, we use shouldn't have, shouldn't have. Okay, thank you for your efforts with us. Okay, rewrite each sentence as a passive sentence. Make these sentences passive. The couch, here we have a, a, an example, and we have three exercises. Here, this is in this example, the couch should have chosen Abdullah for the football team. Ab, uh, the answer here, Abdullah should have been chosen for the football team. What did he do? Think about this sentence. What did he do? The couch should have chosen Abdullah for the football team. So, the couch subject should have chosen. Abdullah is the object. He started with the object. Abdullah should have been. That is been. Abdullah should have been chosen for the football team. So he, Abdullah here, 
and the coach was dropped. Abdullah should have, and he added, been. Abdullah should have been chosen for uh, for the football team. Think about the other exercises or sentences. Someone must have dropped these keys at the meeting. Where is the object here? Excellent. These keys. So, how to answer this? These keys, yes, we should drop someone. These keys must have, we add here, been. These keys must have been dropped at the meeting. These keys must have dropped at the meeting. Okay, number two. The Mayans may have drunk hot chocolate as far back as two, uh, 2,600 years ago. Where is the object here? Hot chocolate. Excellent. So we should draw the subject here, Mayan, and make the object as the subject here. Hot chocolate may have, here we should add, then. Hot chocolate may have been drunk by, uh, or we may not uh, drop the, the mayans, we could keep them. We can say hot chocolate may have been drunk by the Mayans as far back as 2,600 years ago. Welcome, Edna. Number three, a professional photographer must have taken this picture. Okay, we want to make them passive. We want to make this sentence passive. We should start with the object. Where is the object here? Welcome to those. A professional photographer must have taken this picture. Where is the object here? The object is this picture, excellent. So, this picture must have been, this picture must have, must have been, we should add been here, taken by a professional photographer. This picture must have been taken by a professional photographer. Okay, here are the answers. These keys have been dropped at the meeting. Hot chocolate may have been drunk by Mayans as far back as 2,600 years ago. This picture must have been taken by a professional photographer. And here we come to, to at the end uh, of our today's lesson. Here's the summary of what we have studied today. <clears throat> we have studied passive models in the past, and we uh, talked about uh, was, were, and supposed to. Uh, we have answered some exercises. I'm very happy to be with you.